Welcome back everyone. As you probably guessed from the title of the video, the intro, as well as the thumbnail, this is what we are going over today. This is the six hour P365 X Macro Legion. So it is a, generally speaking, relatively high capacity carry gun that now has a fancy aluminum frame and some other changes versus the original X Macro, which we've done a review on here in the channel. You still retain your 17 round capacity, giving it the same capacity that a Glock 17 would have, but of course, in a much easier to carry package. Uh, is there downsides to that? Well, we will talk about that here in just a second. Before we do, I do need to mention that this week's episode is going to be a Mug Club episode. So we're gonna be uh, doing the regular review here of this firearm on YouTube and Rumble for free. Then we're gonna head over to Mug Club where we are going to do an additional you know, video talking about the FinCEN uh, program where they are tracking you, putting you on lists based on searches, uh, things you buy like Bibles, uh, places you go like Cabela's, etc. We're going to be going over all of that, what's going on with it, what we know, and what people, I suppose, are trying to do to stop the police state, uh, whether or not that can be done, we will find out and we will discuss that over there. Uh, additionally, we do, we do want to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is going to be the folks over at Venture Surplus. So they've been a sponsor here before in the past. You guys have asked us for a coupon code. So we finally have one for you. The code is here on your screen. And what is Venture Surplus? For folks who don't know, it is a place where you can buy generally speaking, surplus military equipment, as well as new military equipment as well. The thing about them that is a little bit different than most websites is that they have a constantly changing inventory uh, because they're getting new stuff in, they're selling out of old stuff. So definitely, uh, if you were over there the last time they were a sponsor of the video and checked it out, go check again, because they're gonna have all kinds of new cool stuff. I get pretty much all of the clothing that I buy these days from them because I'm a weirdo who dresses in military surplus clothing, particularly pants. Um, but with that, again, big thanks to Venture Surplus and use the coupon code if you guys are headed over there. Now let's get up close and personal on this gun and see what makes it tick. Getting into the details of the gun, we'll start here at the butt like we were in the Navy and work our way forward out to the tip. So first off, we will drop our magazine. There are three magazines that do come with it. They do have aluminum base plates on there. That is one difference from the original X Macro. So you do get those with the pistol. You also get a fancy Legion box, a Legion challenge coin, all of those sorts of things. Uh, continuing on, we do have our aluminum magwell. Now uh, it is nice and flared, allowing you easy access to get your uh, magazine seated in there. That said, the one, I guess, con I'm gonna have about the Magwell here is that it's not blended as well as it could be. So there are some edges there with that aluminum frame. Uh, that said, it's also going to be the widest point of the firearm. So uh, if you're using this as a dedicated EDC type of gun, uh, it may be something that you might wanna look to remove uh, for printing reasons. That said, uh, for shooting reasons, it's excellent. So the way my hands fit it here, as you guys can see, my pinky essentially gets leverage there on that ledge. And it does it's just another factor that allows this gun to shoot very, very flat for me. Uh, on the back strap, as well as the front strap, we have very good checkering on there. Again, the gun really does lock into your hands when you grab onto it. That's because of course of that checkering, as well as this G10 grip that has the Legion logo in there. Uh, as of right now, I don't know of any aftermarket grips that are available for it. That said, you can remove them obviously with that screw. So I would imagine that there will be some out there in the future. I don't plan on replacing them. This gun from an ergonomics perspective, in my opinion, uh, simply is excellent. Uh, continuing on forward, we do have our magazine release. It is reversible. It is not ambidextrous. Again, that is my personal preference. Not a big fan of ambi mag releases because they can accidentally get bumped. Uh, continuing on up, we have our nice undercut trigger guard. That's one of the differences versus the X Macro, the standard polymer frame one. You definitely can get higher up on the gun here for sure. And additionally, one thing that comes with the aluminum frame rather than the polymer frame is that extended beaver tail. Once again, just allowing you to get very high on it without having to worry about getting slide bite in your hand or anything like that. Moving on to the trigger itself, it is the same trigger that is in the other X Macro. Uh, there's no fancy lesion trigger. So basically you have your play up here, your free play, and then we're gonna hit our wall, but it's not really a wall because there's some mush to it as you guys will see here. As we went through at the break there, right about five and a half, six pounds. 
Reset is great though, very tactile, very audible, as you will see. And they're right there, and you're back on the wall. It's definitely not a bad trigger, it's just not the crispest trigger in terms of the break, for sure. Continuing on forward, we do have our 1913 rail, so that way you guys can add the lights, lasers, etc. that you guys choose to do so. We also have that steel reinforcement pin going all the way through the aluminum frame there. So uh, a lot of people are asking what that is online when I post pictures of it. That is what it is. It's a reinforcing pin. So uh, continuing up to our slide, we have our comp slide. And for people who don't know, the comp slide is a very... Uh, what's the word I want to use? It's something that people argue about on the internet. So basically here's the argument. Some people say the comp slide works great. Uh, it directs gases up and helps keep the muzzle flat when shooting. Other people say that essentially uh, because the it's not ported in the barrel like traditional porting or comps would be, essentially that the bullet goes down and exits the slide here um, so quickly that basically there's not a lot of gas left at that point under recoil for it to counteract the muzzle rising. Um, so there's two camps there, but one thing I'll say is just, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but just looking at it here, there's black carbon all over there, even though I've cleaned this gun. Uh, and that's only there because it is indeed venting gases. So whether it does it as well as a traditional ported barrel, that I can't say. What I can say is, in my opinion, it absolutely does help keep the gun flat. Um, but speaking of the barrel, it's a 3.1 inch barrel. So the barrel actually stops right about back here. Actually, lock it back. You can see that is where the barrel stops. So out in front there, it is just a chamber to vent those gases. Uh, speaking of a chamber, we do have a loaded chamber indicator right there. So that way if there was a round in there and it was daylight out, you'd be able to see it. Uh, sights on this gun are actually fantastic in my opinion. So we do have that bright uh, ring there around the tritium front sight. And then we have subdued tritium in the rear. One of my favorite sighting pictures, if you will. Uh, and then of course we do have the SIG optic on there, which has the, uh, which rather is cut for the RMS, RMSC uh, pattern. And the Romeo X fits it just fine. There's no adapters or anything like that that are needed for it, but it's good optic. We're gonna have a full review come in. Uh, they also have a full size version that we've been using as well. Both of them have been solid to date, just kind of a preview on that. So we haven't had any issues there at all. Disassembly of the gun, pretty straightforward. You're just gonna lock our slide to the rear and then we're gonna move this lever. It's a little stiff. There we go. And at this point, your slide will come off. You do not need to pull the trigger. I know that's something that a lot of people do like. It is, of course, a gun that is modular, so you can take this out. This is your serialized portion and put it in a different frame if you guys so choose to do so. You don't have to go through another background check and all of those sorts of things. So I'm not sure a lot of people are going to do that with the AXG Legion version, but I know people do it with a lot of P365s out there. Uh, they have different slides they use, different frames they use, etc. So you absolutely can do it. It's a chassis gun. So a recoil spring and guide rod, and then that little barrel there. As we talked about, you guys can see there has a generous feed ramp on there. We've had zero issues feeding hollow points. Hollow points we ran through it were 147 grain uh, Fiocchi from our friends over at Firearms Depot. Zero issues at all. Of course, the vast majority of what we put through it has been minute ammunition. They are our primary nine millimeter sponsor. And again, no issues at all with that. You guys can get a look there in the slide at how everything looks looks pretty good in my opinion. Obviously we have some good honest wear because we've been shooting the gun, but otherwise no chatter marks, nothing like that. Exactly what you'd expect from the folks at Sig Sauer. And to put it back together obviously is the exact same process, just in reverse. And when you go back, generally speaking, will reset itself and you're back in business. At this point in the video, there's only really a couple things I think we need to discuss before closing it out. Most importantly is going to be price point as well as reliability. Um, so price point on this one, not all that cheap, as you can imagine being a Legion gun and with all the features that we've gone over here today. So I believe the MSRP on this gun is $1,299. What's interesting about Sig Sauer uh, versus a lot of other competitive offerings, if you will, that you can do is you can actually go over to their site and add all these different basically add everything to your cart individually and if you actually do that it's much more expensive than the actual msrp street price i'm not sure what these will be selling for when you're watching this video because of course that always changes but because it has that fire control unit that is the serialized portion uh, it does give you that option so by buying a legion uh, it definitely is cheaper than if you were just to take your fire control unit and go over to sig and purchase all the different components that you guys see here um, that is an option though if you already have a 365 and you want this and you don't want to buy a new gun so that is one of the cool things about it so price point definitely not cheap that said it is a unique gun for a unique role uh, and probably a unique buyer as well reliability 
100% reliable. This gun right now has over 800 rounds through it. The vast majority, again, being that minimum ammunition stuff, 115 and 124 grain. Incidentally, your comp slide, if you believe they work, <laughs> will work better uh, with 124 grain ammo. The hotter the ammo, the better it will work. Um, but again, the gun is very cool, in my opinion. Uh, the three inch barrel, uh, you do lose a little velocity over what you would get, of course, if it was coming out flush. That said, in the vast majority of situations, your nine millimeter, if you choose good ammo, will perform perfectly fine out of a 3.1 inch barrel. And it definitely shoots like a gun much larger. There's no doubt about it. I said that with the uh, X macro when we did that video as well, but this one just steps it up another notch. Uh, of course, adding that aluminum grip module does good add rather another four ounces which really does just kind of help stabilize the gun uh, as you shoot it it just seems to have a little bit more weight on the bottom as opposed to all the steel on the top which sort of equalizes it and balances it out quite nicely as you're firing and now on a timer are you going to be able to set records with this that you wouldn't be able with the x macro probably not but i'd bet your splits with a little bit of practice would be faster with this for sure if for nothing else than the fact that the grip in my opinion just sticks in your hand a lot better uh, that certainly is nice because when i'm shooting typically it's hot out uh, because of where i live and my hands are typically sweating and it definitely locks it down a lot better than the x macro does at least in my personal opinion uh so with that, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. Uh, of course, if you like this video and you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you've done that and you're not seeing two to four videos a week here on the channel, uh, hit the notification bell and uh, sign up for my email at the website here on your screen. The website also has other cool stuff you can do over there. So definitely check that out. Uh, but if you sign up for the email over there, that email list will go out once a month and it has all of my videos since the previous month's uh, email went out so that way there's no big tech giant censoring your eyes from my content. Additionally, we have daily deals email so if this thing or any of the optics, the lights that you guys have seen, the magazines, the ammo, etc. Any of that stuff goes on sale, it will be in my daily deals email. It has eight of the best deals that we find around the internet if it is in the email. It's the cheapest for that item that I know of anywhere on the internet on that particular day because I've already done the price comparisons for you. So hopefully that saves you guys some money as well as some time. There's also a meme in there that a lot of people like. A lot of people are signed up just for the meme. So if that's you, thank you for signing up. If you're somebody who's interested in memes, go ahead and sign up and you will get them as well. <laughs> so with that, guys, we're going to close the video out. We're going to head over to Mug Club and talk about some nonsense going on with the federal government. And we'll see you guys over there.